The biggest concerns you know, I heard here uh, tonight is uh, rural Ireland has been decimated. You have all the farmers, the small farmers are struggling, barely able to make a living, and uh, all the big corporations have taken over farming. I spoke about um, all the houses that's going for planning with no chimneys in them now, and all the older generation that need our fuels. They also spoke about um, these all, all these houses with retrofits. What happens if the electricity goes off? And basically, rural Ireland, it's, it's, it's not looking good. So we had a good discussion this evening. As I said, many of the issues that have been raised have been raised with us already. Uh, but they can be sure of this, is that what I've heard this evening, uh, alongside the feedback I get from my colleagues in both Leinster House and indeed within local authorities like Dermot uh, and like Clare, is that I'm taking that back and I'm making sure that the voices uh, of this community, this region, uh, are being heard in Brussels. It's easily known government are not listening to rural Ireland. Government are ploughing ahead saying it's all EU directives. They're not listening to the local people here in Brussels. It's not happening. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important that we had this engagement here this evening and that we had it through council level at Europe and at Leinster House. And look, lots of the issues that have been raised this evening are issues that are causing great frustration. And I would say a sense of almost sadness as well. I have repeatedly raised the need for a rural proofing mechanism that would ensure all state departments and all state bodies have that rural proofing mechanism on every policy they bring forward. Because the issue up to now has been there has been no consideration for government policy and the impact of that on rural communities. We have it in place in the north, it works really well. Government have committed to bringing it forward but it is far too slow and forestry a few weeks ago was a prime example of that. We need a forestry policy that looks at the impact on rural communities and a rural proofing mechanism will ensure that that is in place. We also need to take full advantage of the really advantageous co-funding arrangements we now have in place with Europe because we are now a region that is lagging behind in all of Ireland. So we need to see government take full advantage of that co-funding. We need to get our fair share and ensure that we get greater investment and in infrastructure. And we need critical investment in infrastructure for the West and the North West.